So one thing that's really important to keep yourself organized with all the different files and photos that we're going to have for this class is to create on your computer, no matter which type of computer you're using, on your computer create a folder for photography and then within that folder create a new folder for each project we do. That way everything will stay nice and organized. So this is how it's going to look on a Mac computer, but it works similar on Chromebooks and on uh, Windows computers. So you want to go to either Finder on a Mac or on a Windows computer. You just want to open the File Explorer where you can see all your folders with different things like documents. Um, and on a Chromebook, it's similar to that as well. Um, so you just want to open where all your folders and uh, files are. So that's just Finder here. Um, and then you want to go to your documents. So on any type of computer, you want to find where your documents are located. And then you want to make a folder for photography. So on just about every type of computer, you can just go to File and New Folder. And then you just want to retitle that folder as photography. Oop, I already have one named photography, so I'm just going to name it a little bit different. We're going to say photography with an underscore. All right, so now I have that photography folder. And in that folder, I can create all sorts of different folders for the different projects. So I can go in and say file, new folder, and make one for composition. I can make a new folder for, oops, that one was inside that folder. So we're just going to get rid of that one. I want to make sure I have this folder selected so it's making it in here. You can also right click where you want a folder and say new folder. And we'll call that one elements and principles and so on. Um, and then you can put within these folders any of your photos that you have. So um, you want to use whatever method that you're using to get your photos from your phone or your camera to your computer and then save them within these folders. From there, depending on what type of computer you're using, you might need to move your photos to Outlook if, or not Outlook, uh, OneDrive, if you are um, using a Chromebook with the Windows Virtual Desktop. Um, but otherwise, if you're using a Windows computer or a Mac where you have Photoshop downloaded on your computer, you can have your photos on the computer itself. You just have to go about it a little bit different if you're using a Chromebook.